Oxford Read and Discover, Level 6, Close, Then and Now, by Richard Northcott, read by Laurel Lefko, published and copyright Oxford University Press, 2010. Introduction Let's think about clothes, jeans, t-shirts, dresses, and sweaters. You can find these clothes in most countries around the world. Look at the photos below. Which clothes are the same as clothes in your country? Which are different? What clothes can you see here? What are your favorite clothes? What are they made of, and where were they made? What do you know about clothes in the past? Discover! Now read and discover more about clothes in the past and clothes today. Chapter 1 Why do we wear clothes? We wear clothes because we want to be comfortable. We wear clothes because we want to look good. Do we always wear the same clothes? Of course not. We wear different clothes when we do different things. Clothes for important days. Are you wearing your best clothes today? Maybe not. We wear good clothes at school, but we wear better clothes at parties or on important days. Weddings are very important days. In this photo of a wedding, the people are wearing beautiful clothes. They are made of an expensive fabric called silk. Wedding clothes are different in different countries, but one thing is the same everywhere. People wear their best clothes on the most important days. Clothes for every day. In the past, clothes were often big and heavy. The old clothes above don't look very comfortable. Most people couldn't buy clothes made of light fabrics like silk because they were too expensive. There were no synthetic fabrics like nylon. Today, our clothes are light and easy to wear. They are made quickly in big factories. Millions of clothes are made every day. Most people have lots of different clothes because they are cheaper now. Staying cool or warm. We wear clothes because we want to be comfortable in hot or cold weather. In hot weather, tight clothes are uncomfortable. If we wear loose clothes, the air can move around our bodies and help us to stay cool. The men above live in a hot country. They are wearing long, white shirts called dishdashas. White clothes are cool in hot weather. The men's turbans and scarves protect their heads from the sun. In colder countries, people also cover their heads. This is because they don't want to lose heat. In places where the winter is very cold, people wear hats made of wool or fur. Heat from the body stays in the wool or fur and keeps people warm. Looking good. That's a great t-shirt. Where did you buy it? We're always happy when our friends like our clothes. 
We like wearing nice clothes because we want to look good. How do we look good? People's ideas about that have sometimes changed. About 400 years ago, people in Europe wore big white collars around their necks. You can see one in this painting of a woman from Holland. To look good today, men wear ties and women wear scarves or jewelry. The head and neck have always been important in the design of clothes. When we meet people, we usually look at the top half of their body, their face, and their eyes. Some people want to look rich and important. They buy expensive clothes made by famous designers. Presidents and politicians usually wear expensive clothes. Discover! In ancient China, yellow was the emperor's color. Only the emperor could wear yellow clothes. Chapter 2 The History of Clothes People started wearing clothes about 100,000 years ago. Their clothes were made of animal skins. People also used to weave grass together to make rough fabric. Clothes were probably the same for men and women. Making Fabrics About 8,000 years ago, people learned to weave threads together to make pieces of fabric. They used threads of wool, cotton, or linen. They sewed the pieces of fabric together to make simple tunics. These early clothes were like our t shirts today, but they were longer. Later, people used looms for weaving. This linen tunic from ancient Egypt is now in a museum. It's about 1,500 years old. We don't have many clothes as old as this tunic. Fabric doesn't usually last long, so people throw old clothes away. If we want to know about clothes in the past, we can look at old paintings. The spinning wheel was invented about 2,500 years ago in India. With spinning wheels, people could make thread more quickly, so making fabric was easier. Fabrics became more comfortable. If you were rich, you could buy lots of different clothes. This picture was painted in 1434. It's from Belgium in Europe, and it shows a rich man and woman. The man is wearing a long tunic. At this time, men in Europe and in Asia wore tunics. The woman is holding the front of her dress. There's beautiful decoration on her dress, but its shape is simple. It's like a tunic, but it's longer than the man's tunic. Discover! People carried their money in small purses tied around their waists. They cut slits in their tunics to reach their purses. Later, these slits became pockets. The first pants. The first pants, or trousers, were very simple. They were made of two pieces of fabric sewn together a front piece and a back piece. They were worn under a tunic. This photo is from about 1870, and it shows a woman from Pakistan wearing a salwar kameez, which means pants tunic.
In America and Europe at that time, women wore long dresses or skirts. Modern clothes. The first clothes were made of a few pieces of fabric. Then people got better at sewing and clothes became more complicated. There were different pieces of fabric for the front and the back of a coat, for the sleeves, and for the collar. In a modern jacket, there are sometimes 60 different pieces of fabric. Not all modern clothes are as complicated as a jacket. You can make a t shirt or a sweatshirt with only four pieces of fabric. Look carefully at some of your clothes. How many pieces of fabric are there? Chapter 3 The Language of Clothes With television, Magazines and the internet, we see pictures of people from all around the world. We can look at their clothes and learn many things. What is their job? Are they rich or poor? Clothes are a type of language. Suits for work. The people below. Are newsreaders on television. Their clothes are almost the same. They are wearing suits. The men are wearing ties. The people in the first picture are in France. In the second picture, you can see newsreaders in Malaysia. France is a very long way from Malaysia. About 10,000 kilometers. They are different countries in different continents. Their climate is different, and so is their culture. The people speak different languages. So, why are these newsreaders wearing similar clothes? Jobs and uniforms. Newsreaders wear a suit because they want to say, I'm a serious person. I'm telling you something important. People often choose their clothes because they want to send a message to other people. In many countries, doctors wear a white coat. A doctor's white coat sends a message. That everyone understands. It says, I'm a doctor and I can help you. Police officers usually wear a uniform. What does that uniform tell us? It says, I'm a police officer and I'm very serious. Discover! The first British police officers. Had to wear their uniform all the time, not just when they were working. Traditional costume. Sometimes we wear the special clothes of our own country. The clothes that belong to one country or place are called traditional costume. A traditional costume says, I'm proud of my country and my culture. The two women above live in Mali, in Africa. They are wearing traditional bubas. A buba is a long dress made of colorful fabrics. Women also wear a scarf on their head, sometimes made of the same fabric as their buba. The traditional costume of South Korea is the hanbok, which means Korean costume. The hanbok is made of bright fabrics and it's comfortable. For women, the hanbok is a long skirt and a short jacket. For men, it's a jacket and loose trousers.
The traditional costume of Peru is very colorful. Traditional Peruvian clothes are usually made of wool. Women wear lots of skirts. Sometimes they wear 15 skirts at the same time. The traditional costume of Japan is the kimono. Women's kimonos are made of beautiful fabrics, usually silk. Men's kimonos are darker than women's kimonos and they have simpler sleeves. Discover! The decoration on a kimono matches the season. For example, in spring, women wear kimonos with pictures of flowers on them. Chapter 4 Children's Clothes Look in a big clothes store, and you will find children's clothes in many different designs and colors. Millions of children's clothes are made every year. Clothes for children are big business. Clothes today Like most clothes today, children's clothes are made by machines in factories. Children's clothes can be made more quickly and cheaply than in the past, so more people can buy them. When children play, their clothes get dirty. Today's clothes are easy to wash and dry because some of the fabrics are synthetic. Children's clothes are usually brighter than adults' clothes. Young children like bright, happy colors. Clothes in the Past In the past, life for children was often difficult. In poor families, the children had to work. They didn't have much time to play or have fun. The poorest children didn't have nice clothes, and they probably didn't have any shoes. There are more paintings of rich children than of poor children, so we know more about their clothes. Rich children dressed like adults, and they had to live like adults. They had lots of lessons, and they didn't play much. This picture was painted in 1656. It shows the daughter of the king of Spain. The little girl is only seven, but she is dressed like an adult. School uniforms At some schools, children wear special clothes. We call these clothes school uniform. School uniforms are made in the school's special colors. They often have the school's badge on the front of the jacket or the sweater. Some schools have different uniforms for summer and for winter. School uniforms don't have much decoration. There is sometimes a jacket and a tie and maybe a hat. In the language of clothes, a school uniform says, I'm a serious student and I work hard. Clothes for babies Clothes just for babies are a new idea. In the past, poor people wrapped long pieces of fabric around their babies to keep them warm. They didn't have enough money to buy clothes for their babies. In rich families, baby boys and baby girls wore the same long white dresses. Their clothes were nice and clean, but they weren't very interesting. Rompers were invented in about 1910, and they were the first clothes made just for babies. In rompers, a baby can play and crawl easily. It doesn't matter if the rompers get dirty because they are easy to wash. 
In many countries, it's traditional to dress girls in pink colors and boys in blue colors. This only began about 60 years ago, but people also dress their babies in many different colors. Discover! Babies grow quickly, but that's not a problem. Modern rompers are made of loose, light fabric. So they can stretch. Chapter 5 Fabrics. For thousands of years, people have used wool, cotton, and linen to make clothes. Scientists have invented new synthetic fabrics, but people still like the old fabrics too. Wool. People have always worn clothes made of wool. Especially in cold countries. The wool comes from sheep, alpacas, and other animals. There are different types of wool. In some wool, the threads are thin. This wool is used to make sweaters and scarves. Thicker threads are used to make blankets and carpets. Discover! We can make seven sweaters with the wool from one sheep. Cotton. Most shirts, t shirts, jeans, socks, and underwear are made of cotton. Cotton clothes are lighter than clothes made of wool, but they are also very strong. Cotton is a soft, comfortable fabric. Cotton clothes are good in hot countries because the air goes through the fabric and keeps you cool. Do you know how cotton is made? Cotton plants grow in fields. The white balls on the cotton plant are picked and washed, then they are made into cotton threads. Most of the world's cotton is grown in China. India, and the USA. When you wash cotton clothes, they crease a lot, so you have to iron them. If cotton is mixed with synthetic threads like polyester, it doesn't crease so much. Clothes made of cotton and polyester dry quickly after you wash them. Silk. The first silk was made in China about 5,000 years ago. At first, it was a secret. Only a few people knew how to make silk. Then other people discovered that the secret of silk is a tiny animal called a silkworm. The silkworm makes a thin thread and wraps the thread around its body. In two or three days, the silkworm can make about 900 meters of thread. Then people take the thread and wash it. Some people think that this is bad because the silkworm dies. People weave the silkworm's thread and make silk. Silk is expensive because it's difficult to make. Silk reflects the light and shines. Dresses made of silk move easily when the person walks. Silk clothes are comfortable because silk is very soft. Synthetic fabrics. Synthetic fabrics don't come from plants or animals, they are made of chemicals, and the chemicals usually come from oil. There are many different synthetic fabrics. Nylon, polyester, spandex, and Gore Tex are some of the most important ones. Spandex is light and strong. It stretches and fits close to the body, so it's often used for sports clothes, for example, shirts and shorts for cyclists. Gore Tex is strong. And waterproof. 
When a synthetic fabric is invented, it is tested on machines. Is it strong enough? Will it stretch and not tear? Scientists do lots of tests to answer these questions. This machine is testing Gore-Tex. The machine stretches the fabric thousands of times.